everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. I am really glad you're here today because the Sephora sale is still going on and they have added something really special. They added the new Guerlain Meteorites. They come in four different shades. I'm going to show them all to you. So I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer. There is an eyeshadow quad that looks like this. This color up here is not white. It is blue. Let me swatch these for you. So Guerlain is one of the neatest brands. I'm just really starting to like get into it. I'd never been a meteorites person before, but you know, I guess I am now. So Okay, this is what the colors look like. And I will swatch them on me. The quads are one of my favorite things. Like my favorite ever quad is another Guerlain one. It's on my shot my shelf. Here's your swatches. So we've got a really nice color story. I'm going to put the palette up here. So I'm going to kind of scoot over a little bit. So you have like kind of an iridescent blue. I would say it's more blue than purple. Um, and then we have like a peachy, just kind of not matte, but not super like sparkly or anything like more of like a satin kind of shade down here this one's almost like a i don't know if i would call it a duochrome but it's definitely got more than one color in it it's like kind of that orange pinky kind of combo and then we have this beautiful like eggplant The shadows are fantastic. I used them today, obviously, when I got ready. And I didn't know that this was up on Sephora. And I went today to go do a haul because my stuff is taking too long to get here that I ordered. So I just went to the Sephora by my house. And I grabbed a few things, but I wanted to do the meteorite thing first. Meteorites. They are made by Guerlain. I'm going to read from the Sephora. I don't think we need to be this close right now. <laughs> okay, it says a powder made up of ultra lightweight finishing pearls that, make, that sets makeup, color corrects, mattifies shine, and illuminates the complexion. Skin types are normal dry combination and oily it says highlighted ingredients sparkling colored mother of pearls provide multi-dimensional radiance cooler tone mother of pearls provide long lasting radiance basically there is you can use any kind of like kabuki brush i just i got it because it was so darn cute <laughs> i mean okay i know i know this brush is like not like a fancy brush or whatever, but oh, is it soft? <laughs> it is like ridiculously soft. Sometimes these synthetics now are like so good. Um. Anyway, I kind of wanted to show you like what I did today because I was trying out all of them. So this is the first one. First of all, look at these containers that these come in. Can you imagine this sitting like on your little area where you're getting ready it almost just i don't know it reminds me of flowers somebody they all said it reminded them of candy they're just beautiful so on the bottom it's got the girl on meteorites and there are four different shades and depending on your skin tone you can kind of mix and match i initially this is a new color this year. This one is called Pearly White. And I thought, wow, this is going to be like just a gorgeous, just highlight color. 
So this is what the pearls look like inside. It comes with a little puff and that kind of like keeps everything down. I don't use the puff for these. So that one, I'll do a little demo for you, but I just want to show you all the colors. The second one is your cool tone rose. And this is what the pearls look like. So all of those little pearls, those are the powder. And like they said, the mother of pearl, if you've ever seen like a shell, has so many beautiful colors in it. This one I thought would be so not for me because it's called warm. It's gorgeous. Look at these colors. Imagine bringing these on vacation. I mean, and they're just, they're so pretty. And then the last one here is called Amber. And for me, this is a beautiful bronzer. It's just gorgeous. It picks up like all the great tones because there's a lot of pink in there and different color um, brown pearls. So the eyeshadow palette, take these little guys out. So if you look at these colors, I've done a look with them today. Basically, I used, I'll use, I'll, I'll show you up here. I started with this peachy color and I created just a shadow like on my brow bone to be my pretend crease. And then I took the deeper orangey pinky shade and I put that kind of blending into what I had done and then kind of started to bring that out. And then I used the burgundy color to deepen up here behind my lashes and to sort of blend up to here to get a little bit more depth. Down on the bottom, I did a combination. I did not use the blue. Now, I did put a little of that white blue color, one that looks like it's going to be white, but really has like a blue shift. Um, I put that in my inner corner and I put that in the center of my eye. So this is the Aura Glow 458 Ombre G. So the meteorites are a beautiful finishing powder. There's two kinds of powders. We have setting powder, and that's what we set our makeup with to make sure that it stays in one place on our face. And then we also have finishing powders that you kind of buff into the skin to get a glow at the end of putting on your makeup. Some of you may be setting your eyes, your under eye, with just a very natural looking powder. This one is from Shantikai. And then for holiday this year, Shantikai had two finishing powders, one in this pink color and one in the gold color. And these are not available at Sephora, but I'm just showing them to you because these are the powders that I've used as a finish to my skin. It just smooths everything out and kind of blurs everything, which is my favorite. Blur me anytime. I will show you what I did. I'm just kind of do like a little repeat, but it might get a little, a little makeup y, but here we go. So I'm going to take this very, very soft brush and I'm just going to touch the pearls and get a tap because they do come off and I just went right here on the high points of my face with this pearly one. So you can do, like if you're wearing a top like me, you can do a shoulder. You can do, always do the clavicle. 
Just put a little, little shine on there, on your body. Okay, so like I just put some here and over here. I'll show you on the next one. We'll just add a color because after this, I'm washing my face anyway. Okay, the second little pot of fun is called the Cool Rosé number two. To show you again, that's what the cool tone pearls look like. And I am going to dust off this brush that I had. I'm staying small because I can control a lot more of where these go since I'm showing them all to you. Okay, so I'm tapping that off and I'm just gonna go right here like where the blush is gonna be. Kind of cool off that area a little bit. And just a tiny bit like in the middle of my nose. But it gives the skin this beautiful, Beautiful effect. Okay, this is number three. This one is called Warm Dore. And I mean, this could be a bronzer for some people, for sure. But if you have a warm skin tone, these will just be beautiful as a finishing powder. So, I mean, you just use this in my look. And I'm going to kind of blend in with what we just did. And I'm also gonna put a little of that up on my forehead because this is getting a little bit deeper and it really does help accent. Okay, now the fourth one for me is a bronzer. For some people, this is going to match deeper skin tones as finishing powder. So these all have different use cases. It all depends on what you're doing. I'm gonna use the little brush just so you guys can see. I'm barely touching the pearls and I've got a significant amount. The other thing that you can do is just tap against the, the puff that's in there. I recommend not using this puff because it does keep the powder like tamped down and I think that, that could be get dirty really fast. So this is the bronzer color for me. I get a tiny bit more. It's really beautiful the way that these powders blur the skin. I'm gonna do one of them as like a finishing powder. So I think I'm gonna go into the cool one because this one is the one that kind of matches my skin tone the most. This guy. This is my big finishing powder brush. This is from Sydney Grace. It doesn't have like a number or anything, but it's just a one of her great brushes from a set that I picked up. So I'm just dabbing into here. And basically when your makeup is done, you use it as a finishing powder so that you can really get some blurring going and just have like a really soft focus effect on the skin. And if you look, in the light, get you a little closer again. It's like I can't get you closer, I can't get you farther. Here we go. So you start to get this really pretty, just ethereal. And since we just did that, I'm kind of looking a little bit pale. A lot of options for finishing the skin. And what happens when you spray this after you've put everything on, I always use the Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray from Hourglass. 
I find it to be the most hydrating without being shiny and weird, but it goes under your skin and you can just see everything just kind of like melt. And then usually what I'll do like while it's drying, I'll take a brush and just kind of blow out the eyeshadow a little bit, make sure I have no harsh lines anywhere. Everything is just blended nicely. There are so many good powders out there, but there's something about these pearls that's different from anything else. And if you're worried about the perfuminess of it, I mean, honestly, you can smell it when you open it up, but as soon as I put it on my face and blend it, I don't see anything. I mean, I don't smell anything, I don't see anything. The other thing that you can do after the powder, just take like one of like your nudie highlighters. If you feel too powdery, that's something that you can definitely do. That's easy is just put a little bit of highlighter on top or put some cream blush over it. But finishing the skin off with the powder and kind of giving you that, it, it like masks wrinkles and makes skin texture not look as textured. But if you see, there's a glow and you have to have selective glow. Like from here, in the middle of your forehead, down the nose, here, and here. If you don't mattify this part of you, you're going to look sweaty. You can take this, just a, a powder that will mattify, just to make sure that you're glowing in all the right places and that you don't look like you're sweating. But they are what I would use to create blur, to create that. It's like, I never really understood about powders. I hated them for so long. I understand powders now. And I'm very picky about which ones because if I start to feel it, I can't stand it. It's like I want to just jump out of my skin. For those of you who are like that, my beauty. So one of my favorite blushes is the Papaline Violine from Givenchy, even though this is the girl on the stuff. This does come with a little puff that I do use because there is so little that comes out. So there's four different colors and I just tap this on my skin like this. And if you feel like you're too glowy and like you want a little bit nuts and you've got too much product on and you feel like you're going to be entering outer space anytime soon, you can always take your brush that you use for foundation that day and you can go around and just sort of blend out any edges with that little bit of foundation that's still on your brush. You can do that with blush all the time. You can do it with a lot of stuff. Really, it just, your skin just looks gorgeous. Like I'm wearing the Lisa Eldridge today, which is barely any coverage. And once you put these powders on top of it, it takes the look to like the next level. And I love that I can wear like just a very lightweight skin tint because you guys know I like that during the day. I still think this one's different. I still think it's amazing. I think it's the best $49 that I've spent all year. I think this is a brilliant brilliant product. It makes your skin even. It doesn't settle into lines. You don't even look like you're wearing makeup. It's just like your skin got better. And this pair, the little concealer, 
Phenomenal. Fantastic. These are on the Sephora site now. They just put them on today. Um, normally they are $72 a piece. They still have one of the old ones. I don't know, that one was supposed to be, I think, a, a, for light skin, but they've kind of changed it to uh, temperature and description of color more than they have, like, this one's for you, this one's for you. I thought for sure the pearl was going to be just what I needed because I'm so fair. I really do think that all this beauty stuff and all this makeup stuff, so much better when you share it. If you, if you know about a great product or if you have advice for, for somebody or you've tried something new that they haven't, I mean, these are really good conversations and I want to build our community to talk with each other freely, not just in the comment section, but I mean, I'm, I'm not opposed to opening up some kind of community chat thing or put it on Facebook. I haven't been on there since I was teaching during the pandemic and before that when my child was about eight. But it would work. I mean, we could all go on there if, we, if I set that up. So tell me, sound off below. Does that sound good? Does that not sound good? I really want to be able to tap into your expertise and have you guys all sharing ideas with each other. As a teacher, collaboration was so important. It was so important for the kids to have something that drew them in. Just like with us, it has to be something that draws you in, that makes you want to subscribe to that person's channel and watch their videos. So it all depends on what you're looking for. There are some channels that are like bougie, some channels that do drugstore, there's some that do luxury, there are some that mean the sky's the limit. Like there are just so many kinds of channels out there that specialize in different things. Um, the other thing I wanted to remind you guys of is that there are a lot of us out here making videos for you guys, spending money on products. I don't receive PR yet. I, I've, I've gotten two lipsticks and a mascara and I haven't even showed them to you yet. That was what I've received thus far from brands. So... I want you to know that it counts and matters if you click on our links. It supports the channels. It allows the creators to purchase more products so they can do more reviews for you. And it's a cycle that keeps going and going. I will always be upfront with you about affili affiliate links. I've been doing makeup for so long and just playing with this stuff makes me happy. I love to like dig around in makeup and then I love to like bring everything to you guys to show you what's the best of the best so that you're not wasting your money. Let me waste mine, but then use my links. <laughs> and I'm also gonna be putting together a little luxuries video. So I'm gonna find the little Pin gems that are not too expensive. I haven't really set a bar for the price yet, but I'm thinking 25, you know, like would be like the highest. If it has to go to 28, maybe for some things I will, but definitely keeping it between 20 and 25 if possible. And just to show you that there are some little luxuries. If you're on a no buy or a low buy, can show you some of the things that may become in a mini or something that doesn't cost very much but is still feeling luxurious so that we can all participate. I totally get it. You guys, please do hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so you know when I upload, do all the YouTube things. Thanks for being here. Mwah. Till next time. See you later. Take care. Bye.